the Jessica Lal case today. Now there has been another stunner. Her sister, Sabrina Lal, who is now 49 years old and has been fighting for justice, has written a letter to Tihar Jail responding to the welfare officer saying that she's okay with Manu Sharma, the person who's convicted of murdering her sister. It's okay with her for him being released and also that she has denied compensation from the Tihar Jail authorities. Now this comes, remember, seven, you know, after 20 years after Jessica Lal was murdered in a South South Delhi restaurant for denying Manu Sharma, who's the son of a famous politician, to serve him alcohol after hours. She was shot dead point blank in the head for seven years. Manu Sharma and his friends, you know, kept uh, the law in the kept, kept the law in their hand, and also almost more than 30 of the witnesses turned hostile in the case. But finally, in 2006, he was convicted. But now, her sister, Sabrina Lal, has come out and written a letter to Tihar Jail saying that it's okay because of his good conduct and he's been doing good uh, charity work inside the Tihar Jail. That it's okay that he has served his sentence and he can come out, um, you know, he can be released. It is interesting because Neelam Katara, um, whose son Nitish was also killed, uh, shot dead by uh, another politician's son. She says that, you know, there was so much support for uh, Sabrina Lal, the Jessica Lal case. There was support from media, there was support from public, who actually came out in huge numbers, in millions, with candle marches around the country for support uh, against this. Is it actually right that somebody with money, power, can sort of do charity work inside the jail premises and say that that is reform. Well, we spoke to Sabrina Lal to find out exactly what she thought while she wrote that letter where she said that she is okay. It is another closure, a closure from 2006. Now this is another second closure for her. Her family has lost a lot, but now finally it is closure and she is okay with Manu Sharma being released. Let's listen in. Sabrina, you wrote a letter in response to the welfare officer in which you said that what he does inside the jail, the charity work that he's been doing is a reflection of a reform. Do you firmly believe that when you got that letter? Yes, I did because I had already heard from some common friends about the work he's been doing. And uh, yes, I truly believe that he has reformed to a large extent and he's been doing a lot of good work in jail. But good work is also a privilege that people with money and power have. There are l many other uh, people who are languishing in our jails who perhaps don't have the means to prove that they have reformed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you feel, you know, just because he has power, he has been able to prove that he has reformed? See, I don't know whether power uh, will make you reform. It's, it's what you do yourself as a human being in jail. The fact that I've heard about it is only because, unfortunately, whatever we have, a few common friends who know his family, so they've been telling me about it. Others, I wouldn't even know. It's been a tough battle. You fought really hard for justice. Your family, you lost your parents yes. through the journey. Um, do you feel somewhere the entire family and everyone who supported you is going to be okay with your decision? As I mentioned earlier, my mom, way back in 99. 1999 when the incident happened when Manu Sharma's parents came over to meet her my parents and uh, at that point of time she told me she said if Manu Sharma had come and apologized and asked for my forgiveness I would have probably forgiven him